So a colonoscopy requires bowel preparation, as I've said, and uses an instrument called a colonoscope, which is a long, thin, flexible tube with a tiny video at one end to examine the inside of the colon. This is placed in via the rectum and gently fed through the colon. Images are taken and transmitted from the camera to an external monitor. This allows the endoscopist to get a detailed view of the inside of your colon. If samples are required, these can be taken by using biopsy forceps and we can use other equipment such as snares to remove polyps. Depending on what's found, the procedure can take between 20 minutes and an hour. Prior to undergoing a colonoscopy, you will be asked to follow a special low fibre diet. You will not be able to eat anything for approximately 24 hours before the procedure. You can drink clear liquids but should avoid anything which is red in colour as this may be confused with blood. You will be given a strong laxative such as clean prep or movie prep to empty your bowel beforehand. Just before the procedure, once you're in the endoscopy room, you'll be given a sedative and some painkiller to help you relax and counter the effects of pain that you may experience. You'll be asked to lie on your left side with your knees drawn up to your chest. The doctor will insert the conoscope into your back passage and pass it through your colon. A small amount of carbon dioxide is usually used to pump into the colon to help inflate it and improve the view. This is associated with a cramping sensation and a feeling as though you want to go for a poo. This can be uncomfortable but should pass quite quickly. If abnormal tissue is found, this will be biopsied or removed using the snare biopsies. At the end of the procedure, you may need someone to take you home because of the effect of the sedative. <laughs>